Hello everyone. In today's video, we will discuss about Alfred Schultz phenomenology. Particularly in the last video, we discussed about the how phenomenology I took a different turn, a paradigmatic shift in the sociology by opposing positivism. Here in this video, we will discuss about how Alfred Schultz contributed in the development of sociology through his positivist, through his phenomenological approach. So Alfred Schultz took the inspiration, or the uh, the he adopted the Husserlian phenomenology, but he modified his uh, the Husserlian phenomenological approach in sociology. So the Alfred Schultz phenomenology is uh, organized in the form of his published work, the structure of the life world, and in this structure of the life world, he tried to understand the life world or everyday life of the individuals in the society. Alfred Schultz discussed about the world of everyday life, that is how individuals uh, live in the everyday life or how individuals live their everyday life and how, per, how, how they perceive the world. So according to Schultz, it is the uh, it is the experiencing of the reality, it is the experiencing of the reality within the natural attitude by the adult members of the society and most important thing is that the individuals who an experience or individuals in course of experiencing the reality also, also become conscious and also remain conscious about the fellow human beings. That means individuals do not act or perform anything in isolation, rather individual is conscious about the existence or the presence of other fellow human beings and this is how they live their life in the society. Now what is this natural attitude? Natural attitude according to Alfred Schultz in the consciousness about the reality that it is given, that understanding of individuals or the consciousness of individuals about the social reality, about the natural world as a given. Of course, natural world was existed even before the emergence of human beings or human society and will exist even after the death of human beings or after the, the end of the human generation. But the, the uh, cultural and social meaning of the nature is is subjective. So, but individual concepts or perceives this as given. The social world which is completely the product of individual's mind, individual's action, individual's interaction over the period of time the society develops and comes in the form of social system, social norms, social values, social institutions. But when individuals encounter this in the society, they feel, they, con they, they, uh, they, they understand these as <coughs> natural or given or constant or unchangeable or things as obvious. Here I will give you a small example. There is an animal called tiger. So two important things we need to focus here. What is the word tiger? and second is the particular kind of animal. What is phenomenology about this? Here according to phenomenology, the human beings use this natural attitude towards the word tiger. They understand this particular, uh, particular kind of animals through the word tiger and they perceive, they believe that this word, uh, this word tiger means this particular kind of animal. But there is no link between the word tiger and this particular kind of animal. This is how individual uses their natural attitude towards the, uh, the natural world and how human beings classify the nature into different objects and concepts in their everyday life. According to Alfred Schultz, the natural attitude of individuals or natural attitude of human beings can also be modified. Human beings can modify the natural attitude by their action. Again, this natural attitude can also determine their behavior in the society. So natural attitude is also not static. In course of time, individual modifies the natural attitude. And again, the natural attitude 
determine their own behavior in the society. Now we will discuss about the various dimensions of the life world as mentioned by Alpha Suits. Basically he mentioned about three dimensions of the life world. Space, time and social dimension. So time, uh, that is space. Individuals understand the space. Here understanding of space means the here and now. This individual understands the here and now. Human beings who is uh, conscious about here and now and this is uh, and and this is the reason why individuals can maintain the face to face relationship. Now question is the time. Time is very important which is objective but human beings correlates this time subjectively with the natural and the social world. So the time existed even the birth of the human beings and it will exist even after the death of the human beings but individuals the classification of time individuals scheduling of their activities and their uh, their performance in the society is based on the objective time so time is also very important individuals is conscious about the society not based on the present but also based on the past and individuals can anticipate can can imagine about the future uh, as well then third important dimension is the social so a social world which individual creates and lives within it very important thing is that individuals do not live in the society in isolation individual is conscious about the existence and the presence of other fellow human beings and this is how they acts and behaves in the society so individuals acts and behaves in the society consciously by considering the presence and the existence of fellow human beings you will continue our discussion in the next video